Welcome again. Right now we're at John chapter 14, verses 7 through 11. Jesus and the Father are one. Jesus said here in verse 7, If you had known me, you would have known my Father also. From now on you know him and have seen him. Philip said to him, Lord, show us the Father, and that will be enough for us. Jesus said to him, Have I been with you such a long time, and do you not know me, Philip? He who has seen me has seen the Father. How do you say, show us the Father? Don't you believe that I am in the Father and the Father in me? The words that I tell you, I speak not from myself, but the Father who lives in me, who does his works. Believe me that I am in the Father and the Father in me, or else believe me for the very works sake. Some people say that Jesus and the Father are one and the same, that they are one person. Others say that Jesus is not even divine, that he's just human, okay? Others say, well, Jesus is one of the persons of God. We got God the Son and God the Father. Let's talk about this for a minute. Jesus said, when you have seen me, you've seen the Father. What does that mean? We know that Paul said that Jesus is the image of God, okay? Jesus is the image of the Father. Let's put it this way. You can have a picture of, let's say, for example, a picture of Johnny. You, may, you can have it right up there on your screen. And someone can go by you and say, well, who's that? And you can say, well, that's Johnny. Well, one person can say, well, wow, that's Johnny. Cool. Another person can say, that's not Johnny. That's just colored pixels on a screen. That's just an image of Johnny. And that's, this is the way it is with a lot of Christians. You look at Jesus and you say, there's the Father. Now, does that mean that Jesus and the Father are the, you know, the same person? That Jesus is actually, literally, physically the Father? No, it means that Jesus is, in, is the image of the Father. That Jesus is so connected to and in line with and at one with the Father that when you look at him, when you hear him speak, and this is why he said, the words that I speak are not my words, they're the Father's words. So in other words, he was making it clear that the words that he speaks is not his words. He doesn't even speak anything of his own. He speaks the Father's words. Now, let me just say this. That kind of flies in the face of a lot of people's theology that you know, we got this Old Testament God and then we got Jesus. They got the Old Testament God and, well, that God is full of wrath and that God is full of rules and judgments. Whereas Jesus, he's just so full of love and, you know, he doesn't give out much judgments and he's just so accepting of everybody. Jesus made it clear. He is the image. He, he represents fully the God of the Old Testament. He said very clearly, we read it in, in previous chapters, just in this very book alone, in the book of John. He said, you know, I am the God of Moses. I am the one. I am that I am. Unless you believe that I am, you will die in your sins. He said over and over and over again, I am. What he was saying was, he is the I am, the great I am. The same God that spoke to Moses out of the burning bush. The same person. Because Moses said to, to, to God in the burning bush, what's your name? When I go back to the children of Israel and they ask me, who is this God? What's his name? God said, go tell them I am that I am. Go tell them that I am has sent you. Then Jesus comes along and says, unless you believe that I am. And then he goes on to say other things like before Abraham existed, I am. I mean, he made it very clear. He is the perfect representation of the Father, of God, okay? So are they the same person? Well, technically not. 
On the other hand, you can look at Jesus and say, there's the father. Because in the same way that you can look at a photograph and say, there's Johnny. <laughs> or you can look at a, at a picture on the screen and say, well, that's Johnny. Well, yes, it is. But no, it's not. It's very important to understand when Jesus said, when you have seen me, you've seen the father. He was talking about like as if he was a picture of God. Number two, you need to understand that Jesus made it clear. I don't come, he said, basically, I don't come to teach anything new. I don't come to start my own thing. I come just to speak the words of my father. Okay. Don't forget, he was a Jewish rabbi, an Orthodox Jewish rabbi. And it was the rabbi's job, any rabbi's job, to teach and to preach the Tanakh, especially the Torah. And that's exactly what Jesus did. Everything he taught was from the Torah. Everything, okay? Nothing was new. Nothing was. He just more or less unfolded it and expounded upon it a little bit more, explained it a little bit more, actually drove it a little bit deeper into people's lives. But he never came to start anything new. He made that very clear over and over and over again. And as always, thanks again for listening. May God bless you as you think about these things. May God give you the spirit of revelation so that you would see things, you would understand things that many people don't. As you call upon him, he will show you great and mighty things. Thanks again.